Okay, so today we're going to be uh, looking at um, a training that I did with Jan recently. And it's on uh, this map here. It's relatively, I'd say, I mean, with it's somewhat similar to Danish terrain. Or at least for what we have here, this is about as similar we can get. Um, there's going to be a lot of side hills with re-entrance, kind of like this, which are fairly steep. And then I'd say the most detailed parts, it's all positive, mostly contours. And it might look some, I mean, somewhat like this. It's not quite like this, but the orienteering style, I would say, is fairly similar. And the forest here was relatively white compared to what we have usually. So I'm just going to play this um, because I ran the course and we can actually see I'll just make some comments on our route choices. So it was pretty cool because Jan and I, we had um, um, almost the same time. It was very, very close. So we can just watch the replay and make some comments. So here there's, there's some trails. It's a slightly old map, but there's like a trail there. So I think I stopped because I, I didn't hit the hill. Um, and it, I couldn't see it from there, so it was also a fairly indistinct hill. So over here on this leg, to number two or whatever, um, so I decided to go more from the right because I didn't want to go into this marsh, and Jan was able to cut through it without losing a lot of time. And then we hit, there's more of a trail here, and my line should be right here. It's just the GPS track. It doesn't sync perfectly, so we can't see that. But I think we just followed this and then continued um, running along the edge of the hill until we hit this. Um, to this one. Oh, yeah, we also didn't have compasses. So some of this, it was fairly, it was just looking for this hill and running in the right direction. And I saw this marsh here. So that's kind of how I was able to hit it. And our line are, lines are pretty good. So now for the long leg. I think I gained a bit of time on Jan here. Um, not on the first half, but right on the second half. So here we can see that it's fairly um, equal. And I, I uh, had basically a little bit of a shorter distance going right. And I could read all of this, and Jan just chose left. So that's why I'm a little bit ahead of him, I'd say, here. But then once we got here, there's effectively almost nothing. There's this cut line here. And then this uh, re-entrance. So I crossed through this and then I wanted to stick more to the right because there was this kind of earth bank and the slope, which I could see. And then I came into where I saw this hill and this edge. And then I came into the control. So y'all came a little bit from the uh, left there. Blah, blah, blah. So here, Jan ran this one a bit better. I, because I didn't have a compass, um, I think I crossed through here somewhere, and then I saw this, and from that, I kind of angled into it more correctly. Um, to the pit, we both went about the same way, which was fairly straight, and it's a pretty good line for not having um, a compass. And then for this leg, so this one, I was just trying to climb because Jan started about a minute behind me. So I was really trying not to have him catch me. <laughs> and so I was moving up here as fast as I could. Um, and then here, basically, I kind of an angled in and then headed off to the second hill. Now this line, it goes all the way here. It's just, the, once again, the GPS um, calibration couldn't be much better here. Um, yeah, and then here I didn't go, so Jan went more straight out of the control and I came uh, back around more like this. And then I ran actually right in the edge of this because this was kind of open and pretty fast. And then I came around the left side of this. And so I had a, a very good route here, I think. So I'll compare some of the individual splits after. Um, and then this one is kind of just over the hill and I could see this marsh and so I went to the kind of what was the hill between 
this big one and the marsh. There wasn't too much to it. And so also to this one, I didn't really see this hill. It was fairly flat, but I did see this one thinking it was this one. And then when I came up to it, it was so big, I kind of realized it was the one with my control. So I ran here. And also we didn't have flagging on this um, course. So it was a little bit, we had to be a bit careful. Um, yeah, then we hit that one. And then, so to this one, this would have been basically one of my only mistakes. I was trying to hit this trail here, um, but uh, without a compass, I managed to mess it up and hit this hill. And I wasn't sure if that was this hill because I didn't have a compass again. And once I kind of relocated, um, I was able to hit the control, but Jan caught a, quite a bit of time on me there. So he was a bit more behind, but now he's a lot closer. So Jan made a little bit of a mistake here and it was quite tough because this was fairly vague and flat and much easier with a compass. And these three hills, they weren't too, too obvious. Um, and so then I kind of get a little bit more of a lead again. Um, right there. And then here, uh, this one was fairly simple. It was really fast in here, so we just ran here. Um, and then my, I'd say my second mistake would have been going to this one because I didn't have, I didn't, I couldn't take a good bearing and I kind of stuck a little bit too high and then I realized about here I was too high, so then I corrected a bit more. Um, but I should have taken that a lot more straight. But yeah, then um, this one was really good. I think I had a very good plan. I kind of came off of this junction and read this sort of re-entrant. And then I started going up this spur. I was able to hit that. I, looking back, I guess there might have been more of a clearing here. So if I could have hit that, it would have definitely sped me up. So it looks like Jan kind of hit that right there. Um, but then it was fairly, it was, it was a straight um, approach. And so I, that's what I liked about it. <coughs> so here the, there was actually a trail um, that we both took that made our lives a bit easier. And basically, so I climbed a little bit off of it. Uh, I'm not sure if Jan did that, um, but I'm not quite sure either. It would have been easier with a flag, but I, I went until I saw the indistinct trail there. Um, and these lines aren't the most accurate either. So then here, I hooked around there. And so for example, this gap, I mean, Jan also ran to the rock, so you can kind of um, see the inaccuracy there. Um, and then here, so um, here I had to stop and tell some people on this trail that were lost uh, which way to go. And then basically we continued and it seems here, I'm just going to pause it. It seems here that I feel, I want to say that I hit the control definitely because I remember I came off of this trail off of this spur. And then I headed right and I could see this kind of big spur in the whole big valley. And it looks like the GPS in some places, it's not that far off. And it's got at least a little bit of, um, what did I say? The gap's not too, like the air is not too, too big. And basically Jan's line, like if this is where my line was, this is fairly far away. So I feel like he didn't quite make it to this one. And honestly, when I went through here, there wasn't really a distinct feature here. So I was hoping there would be kind of a spur, but I think this one after was a lot, when I ran down, was a lot um, more distinct, basically. But yeah, and it was harder without the flags because if if there was, if Jan didn't, um, well, I, I think Jan, I don't know where he thought he kind of had it maybe somewhere here because it was all, it's kind of vague here. Um, but if he didn't hit the flag wherever he thought he was, he would have kept probably
probably going, or he might have corrected to go up a little bit more. And honestly, this isn't a, a great location for a feature. And we didn't have compasses, so yeah. But then basically, I was really on the line on this one. I had a good, I guess, intuition for the direction. Um, yeah, and then we kind of hit this one. So I think I saw it more on the way down. And like this null, it was really not that obvious. It was more like a form line. It's really not the clearest thing. But basically, I think Jan's time was about 10 seconds faster than mine, which is really, which I'm happy with because he's a faster runner. And that means we were basically going at the same speed the whole time, or on average. Um, so I'm just going to look at a few, few really quick um, route choices um, where we deviated a little bit. So the long leg, we can check um, how much time one of us made. So here you can see it's quite evened out. Um, we're both going about the same, because we're going at the same pace. Um, it's fairly even, I'd say, and there's nothing much here. So it's completely tied here. Um, from the last control, Jan's a little bit ahead, but um, it's basically the same. And then we come down this at basically the same rate. And we hit the bottom. And now it looks like Jan stopped there for a sec. I think he said he had to tie his shoe, so I think it might have been that. Um, so I get a little, little bit ahead of him. Honestly, that's about it, probably. But we both ran that one really well. I think because if I measure it from, so where does he stop? I think he stops in the clearing. Yeah, just there. So, so from here, it's probably basically the same thing. Yep. Yeah, basically. So. Honestly, we both, I would say, spiked that one. Um, coming out of this one, though, I think Jan might have been a little bit faster. I don't know, we can kind of zoom in. It's pretty close, too. I ran further, but um, yeah, he's a little bit ahead here. You can see that. Um, but yeah, okay, so honestly, there wasn't much of a difference there. So I think if we go here, we can see, I think Jan made, I think he also kind of ran into the same issue. Um, but he corrected a little bit faster and he also moved out or moved through this area. Yeah, so here I really stopped for like quite a little while. So I'd say that was one of the biggest mistakes that I had made. And then I'll just check this one. I know where we started there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's about when we hit the controls. So Jan's direction was definitely a lot better. I'm going a little bit off here. And then I come back into it. So, I don't know. It was a really good training. Uh, would have been a little bit better with um, compasses, but I think it was a great race and all well, mock race. But um, it was basically a, a good race, and I, I felt quite in shape, I'd say. I was able to run up m most of the hills, kind of some of the... I know this one I had to walk up the end of it, and maybe I did a little bit of walking there too. But it felt good, honestly. Just gonna keep running hills with the track team. That's, I think, uh, my best plan right now. All right, see you in the next video.